delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Pagomenos where they are today. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deb and TV. Tarana. Good day, senior high school students! Welcome to Lantau Compre, our school on air through television. We are here for another episode for this week's television-based instruction of DepEd Division of Tagum City. I am your teacher, Teacher Alan M. Basco Jr. from Tagum City National Comprehensive High School. And today, I will be your attendant on this undertakings that will show you what's inside a luxurious and relaxing room should be. Welcome to the Housekeeping Alternative Delivery Mode module on Preparing Rooms for Guests. May this provide you with fun and meaningful opportunities for guided and independent learning as you watch and process the contents that will be laid before your very eyes. So, let's have a quick room tour. Have you tried inviting your friends to come over to sleep for a night at your own room? What have you done? I bet you have made some preparations such as cleaning your place, arranging your things, and putting new sets of pillowcase and blankets. These are usual things that we always do and it is part of our instinct. But what should be done when preparing a room for someone who is a guest? Yes, we must exert more efforts and patience and must bear in mind that there is no room for mistake. In housekeeping, it is very important to know the status of guest room. Should I say, it is our top priority. For this episode, you are expected to identify the important terminologies used in housekeeping such as room status and door signs. In preparing the room for a guest, it is a must that you should know first what important terms are being used and how to apply them. So, clean up your mind, I mean set up your mind, fix your heart, I mean ready your heart, and brace yourself for a brand new day to learn. Prepare your paper and pen, and then open your module on page 2 for a very short pre-test. So, come on, let's try! Select the letter of the correct answer. Question number 1. What does it mean when we say the room is occupied and has been cleaned and made up? Is it A. Occupied clean? B. Occupied dirty? C. Occupied? Or D. Vacant dirty? The correct answer is letter B. Question number 2. When the room is vacant, already made up and has been checked by the supervisor and is ready to sail, what does it mean? Is it A. 
vacant clean B vacant ready C vacant dirty or D vacant room The correct answer is letter B. Question number 3. When the room is cleaned, already made up but not yet checked by the supervisor, it means A. Vacant clean B. Vacant ready C. Vacant dirty or D. Vacant room The correct answer is letter B. Question number 4. When the room is occupied by a paying guest, it means A. Occupied clean B. Occupied dirty C. Occupied or D. Vacant dirty The correct answer is letter D. Question number 5. If the rooms are not sellable and these rooms are deducted from the hotel's inventory, it means A. Out of service B. Out of order C. Occupied dirty or D. Occupied clean The correct answer is letter D. Great job, learners! Now, let me ask you, have you been in the hotel room? Based on your observation, what are the different signs that can be found inside a guest room? Yes! One of the most familiar door signs you can think is, Please do not disturb. During the stay of the guest, the housekeeping status of guest room changes several times. Not every room status will occur for each and every guest during their stay at the hotel. Changes in this status should be promptly communicated in order to maximize the room sales and revenue. Maintaining timely housekeeping status requires close coordination and cooperation between the supervisor, the front desk office, and the housekeeping department for the non-automated or semi-automated hotels. In housekeeping, everyone plays their substantial role. They will closely monitor the room status by using the code. We'll check the room status from time to time to be always ready for the guests and in service. The various terms of the room status and door signs are the terminologies that are applicable in the lodging industry. And these are the following code with their important meaning. OCC or Occupied. This means that the room is occupied by paying guests. OC or Occupied Clean. It is when the room is occupied and has been cleaned and made up. OD or occupied dirty, which means the room is occupied but not yet cleaned. VR or vacant ready. When we say VR, it is when the room is vacant, already made up, has been checked by the supervisor and ready to sale. VC or vacant clean. It indicates that the room is clean, Already made up but not yet checked by the supervisor. VD or vacant dirty on change. It signifies that the room has been checked out and the room is ready for cleaning. HSUD or house use dirty. This means the room is occupied by a non paying person. HSUC or house use clean. This indicates that the room is occupied by a non-paying person and is already clean. OOO or out of order. This means that rooms being kept under out of order are not sellable and these rooms are deducted from the hotel's inventory for a variety of reasons. 
including the needs of maintenance, refurbishing, and extensive cleaning, and etc. OOS or out of service. This means that rooms kept under out of service are not deducted from hotel inventory. This is a temporary blocking and reasons may be bulb fuse, TV remote not working, etc. These rooms are not assigned to the guests once these small maintenance issues are fixed. Are you still doing good? Wait, there's more! BLO or blocked. It indicates that the room is reserved for a guest who is expected to arrive within the day. NS or no show. It is when the room is reserved but the guest did not show up or has not arrived. SO or slept out. Simply means that the guest slept outside the hotel. HU or house used. This means that the room is occupied by an officer of staff of the hotel or the owning company. DND or do not disturb. It is when the guest posted the DND sign and does not want to be disturbed. Make up room. This is the time when an occupied guest room needs to be cleaned, including beds to be made. Turn down service. It is an evening service performed by a room boy. DL or double lock room. It is a room with two locks, one by hotel, and the other is personal lock put by the guest. DNCO or did not check out. It indicates that the guest made arrangements to settle his or her bills, not a skipper, but has left without informing the front desk. Cleaning in progress. This is when the room attendant is currently cleaning this room. On change. This means when the guest has departed but the room has not yet been cleaned and ready for sale. I hope you're still following me. Sit comfortably cause we are halfway there. Skipper. It pertains to the guest that has left the hotel without making arrangements to settle his or her account. DO or due out. This is when the room is expected to become vacant after the guest had checked out. CO or check out. This indicates that the guest has settled his or her account, returned the room keys, and left the hotel. LC or late checked out. This means that the guest has requested and is being allowed to check out later than the normal or standard departure time of the hotel. EC or early checked in. It indicates that the guest has requested for an early check in and is being allowed to check in earlier than the normal or standard check in time of the hotel. HL or heavy luggage. It is a term used when a guest has heavy or more luggage than usual. LL or light luggage. It is when a guest has light or very less luggage. And L or no luggage. It is when a guest has no luggage and it is also known as scanty baggage. CL or chain lock. This is when a guest has placed a chain lock in the room. NCI or newly checked in. It indicates that the room was checked in within the last one to two hours. SR or service refused. This is when a guest refused to clean the room. Stay over. This is the term being used when the guest is not expected to check out today and will remain at least one more night. On change. This means that the guest has departed but the room has not yet been clean and ready for sale. On queue. This indicates that the guest has arrived at the hotel but the room assigned is not yet ready. In such cases, 
the room is put on queue status in order for the housekeeping staff to prioritize such rooms first. Woo! Are you still there? I know there are quite a lot, but nevertheless, they are all of equal importance, and knowing them would be helpful once you are in the field. Now, we are done with the basic room status and signs. We will proceed for our activity. You will be given 5 seconds to answer and choose the letter of the correct answer. Question number 1. What does it mean if the room is occupied and has been clean and made up? Letter A. Occupied clean. Letter B. Occupied dirty. Letter C. Occupied. Or letter D. Vacant dirty. The correct answer is letter A. Question number two. It will signify that the room is vacant, already made up, and has been checked by the supervisor ready to sail. Letter A. Vacant clean. Letter B. Vacant ready. Letter C. Vacant dirty. Or letter D. Vacant room. The correct answer is letter A. Question number 3. When the room is cleaned, already made up, but not yet checked by the supervisor, it means that letter A. Vacant clean. Letter B. Vacant ready. Letter C. Vacant dirty. Or letter D. Vacant room. The correct answer is letter A. Question number 4. If the room is occupied by a paying guest, what does it mean? Letter A. Occupied clean. Letter B. Occupied dirty. Letter C. Occupied. Or letter D. Vacant dirty. The correct answer is letter C. Question number 5. When the rooms are not sellable and these rooms are deducted from the hotel's inventory, it means that letter A. Out of service. Letter B. Out of order. Letter C. Occupied dirty. Or letter D. Occupied clean. And the correct answer is letter D. Well done, learners! This time, you will continue on answering your module on page 6 to 7 about the self-check. Fill out the status code and status boxes to complete the room status of hotel. Do also the given activities on pages 8 to 15. Remember, during room check, the room supervisor check the room status of each room using the code. He prepares the room status report and endorses it to front desk clerk as a reference in assigning rooms to guests. This report is important to prevent double booking or assigning of out-of-order or dirty rooms to guests. The head housekeeper, also known as the executive housekeeper, or their appointed associate generally distributes the list of rooms to be cleaned. And that's the end of today's episode of Lantau Compre TV School on Air. See you all in our next session. Once again, this is your teacher, Alan M. Basco Jr. Keep posted and practice good housekeeping by maintaining cleanliness, orderliness, and following signs and protocols no matter where you are. Keep in mind, there is a place for everything and everything in its right place.